sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. I'm just being called to go in a little flow. Um, this could include some light language. It could include um, just a little energy share. So let's kind of play. So I play with words. I play with um, my hands and energy around my field. And I basically kind of spin it. I don't play with just the etymology of the word. I play with the letters and the geometries that those letters make and just the different sounds. And it's just my way of connecting in with my higher self. <clears throat> and as we create these different geometries with our words, with our vocabulary, as we allow ourselves to flow into multiple signatures, if you will, into different frequencies and fonts, we allow ourselves to organize our energy in such a way that it creates a directional force, an intention, if you will. It allows us to directionally change the force in which we move in a fluidity, if you will, for we are entwined, intertwined, wrapped within a fluid-like atmosphere from one perspective. I'm seeing like aether and yeah, the cool Ashtenaki. We allow ourselves to play with the certain codes with a certain certainty, if you will. We allow ourselves to flow into a different code, a different geometric display that allows ourselves to activate and access our deeper codes our deeper codex, that which is encapsulated within our DNA. When I say encapsulated, I'm seeing capital letters held within a container. And I'm also seeing like a capsule, like, like a time capsule. Of course, we could think of like the red pill, the blue pill. Hmm. It's kind of a fun way to look at it too. So, let us play with these words for a bit, for as we process these bits of information, as we allow ourselves to flow into this different framework, as we allow ourselves to play with that which it is that we are all accessing, as we allow ourselves to move into the geometric codex that holds within it so much more than meets the eye, we allow ourselves to spill forward, to spell out, to spell out and combine with more of that which is bound within our boundless framework. I'm seeing a book, the book of life. I'm seeing DNA. As we allow ourselves to unbind from the spells and the spelling that we have linguistically played with for so long, we allow ourselves to elongate the way in which we communicate. We allow ourselves to play and conjugate with that which is more <laughs> than words. For we are playing in this multidimensional linguistic play with words that is truly a vocalization of a harmonic that is held within a scale that is beyond that which we have. Um, I'm hearing like, mo I'm hearing monad and beyond. Um, ooh, I'm playing with so many different layers here. We allow ourselves to spell out different modes, different modes of transportation, of transformation, of transference, if you will. This allows us to activate certain particles, certain particular, certain particulates that are floating around in the ethers from one perspective that are always available to us, yet many of us have been directed to look away. Many of us have been directed to look at another play, one that is playing out, that has been, that has played out, yet is still hanging on. So let us hang on to every word, if you will, and let us break down the old ideologies that have confounded many of our vocabularies. Let us activate a deeper potential of communication that allows us to vocalize more 
that allows us to hone in on a deeper harmonic center of communication. For as we allow ourselves to communicate with the harmonics of life, life mastery, if you will, as we allow ourselves to communicate with the master, I'm hearing Stairmaster. As we allow ourselves to move up the ladder, the staircase, if you will, the spiral, it allows us to tune into more languages, geometries, mathematical representations of sound. It allows us to choose our words more. It allows us to choose our words more carefully. It allows us to truly combine with a combination of frequencies and geometric configurations that are then accessed, accessed, that are then accessed and lead us to a deeper adept, a depth of knowing that is beyond the container that we have been playing with before. For this is all connected to the building blocks of matter, if you will. The platoon, the platonic, the platoon, the platoon, pla, the platonics, play on words, that we have all been platonically evolving through. Let us play with this a little bit more. Let us move around the score. Let us play with the score. Let us move up the thermal dynamic scale. Let us more fluidly intertwine with that which is, mm, I'm seeing a sommelier. I'm seeing a sommelier kind of spin around, like swirl around wine. Like, and I'm hearing taste the solids. Ooh, this is fun. For as we spin around, as we um, merge with the sound, as we allow ourselves to taste the different variables, as we allow ourselves to recognize that there is more than meets the eye, we fine tune our senses to a different tunability. We fine tune our entire sensecape if you will, and continue to move up the spiral in such a way that we enter a new landscape, a new dominion, a new force to be reckoned with. We recognize a deeper force and we plow through the barrier, if you will, for this barrier of sound, this resonance, this resoundance that we are utilizing then allows us to access a higher utilization of our energy, of our frequency. We then bind that to us from one perspective. We bound up, if you will, we jump timelines. We jump into the pool. We jump into the alphabet soup, the alpha and omega. The mega lithic in the past and enlarge into expansiveness into the vast array of thermodynamics and we dynamically inner change with, exchange with, a particle acceleration, activating a deeper part of us, a particular realm of realization, a particular involvement, if you will, that allows us to evolve our evolutionary, revolutionary, revolution within our own framework, one piece at a time, one piece of information, one, as one piece of the whole pie. We are then able to access and verify the scope of that which it is we are signing into. For the signs are all around us. The signs of our times, if you will. We then create a timestamp 
a signature, a signature coagulation, a frequency conduction that allows us to conduct our entire uh, framework. I'm seeing a maestro conducting an orchestra. I'm just seeing a symphony. We make the appropriate adjustments within our own symphonic registration. That which it is that we are registering with, that we register, that we signify, that which symbolizes to us a higher reference point. We then become one with an entire orchestration of geometric configurations that move, I'm seeing figure eights, that move us past a barrier, that move us past and beyond the frequency of sound from one perspective, better spoken, it moves us out into the frequency of a higher coagulation of geometric sound configurations that allows us to move at a higher rate of speed. So I'm seeing breaking the sound barrier. Um, this could be interpreted as light speed, yet we invite you to play with the letter in this, the letter code, the code of letters. I feel like that has something to do with, um, I'm sure, physics. What is it? E equals mc squared? No, I'm just playing with this. It allows us to play with a mass conduction, a mass conductive frequency of electricity that jumbles up the mathematical configuration so they can be reborn again. So that we can then play with a new spin, that which is now available to us. A combination, a combined coding that allows us to sing, that allows us to sing song, that allows us to sing past, zing past, the cellular, I'm seeing so much. Um, I'm hearing spectro spectrometry, introspection, spectrometer, spectrogrammatram, spectrogrammaton. And as we play with these letters, we recognize that our particular display may not add up to the whole of what it is that we are expressing, that we are dialing into, if you will, that we are dialing up into, if you will. Yet we are being invited to dial up into this new geometric configuration. For we are infinite fluid structures of light held within a crystallized network of interferometry, of inner geometries that are constantly reconfiguring to make us more than what we think we are. For we are already more than what we think we are, yet we are being invited to use all of our singularities all of our capacities for higher knowing, all of our senses then turn on and we can move into a higher degree of speculation. We are then able to see with our newly found spectacles, our rose colored glasses, if you will. So I'm going to end on this note because I only have a little bit of time on here, but I will share the rose. It's sh I'm being shown the rose of um, phi of the golden ratio of that golden means. This transfers the energy into a higher state of being, into a higher state of being, a higher circumference, and brings us into a higher trajectory, a higher space of knowingness. This then allows us to access different divinations or different proclamations and different information that was no that's no longer held within a lower compartmentalization it's no longer locked up for we now look up into this rose into this higher space and see ourselves see ourselves held within this molecular convergence within this molecular configuration and we then connect into a deeper 
I'm hearing higher artemology, artemetronology. This is all a plan where it's like a portmanteau of words. So I'm going to end on that note and maybe do part two. Namaste.